Hey everyone, it's Paul from One Cast One Fish, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to replace a water pressure gauge on an Evan Rudy tech. In my case, we're replacing the water pressure gauge because the bezel actually broke on the gauge itself at the console. So the first thing we're gonna do is crawl up under the console here, and we're gonna locate the wiring harness for that water pressure gauge, which is actually located right here. We're gonna disconnect that connector. Now we'll be able to loosen those mountain brackets and remove the gauge from the console. You'll have two of these little brackets that are holding that gauge into the console, and they should be pretty easy to remove. The next step should be pretty simple is we'll just pull that gauge out, but in my case, since the bezel's broken, I'm probably gonna have to push it out from behind. I may have lost a few people when I said remove the electrical connector from the gauge, and that's because on my gauges, that's all there is going to it is an electrical connector. And we'll discuss that a little more in detail when we head back to the motor and take a look at a few things back there. When it comes to water pressure gauges, you're gonna run into two types depending on the type of boat and motor and its age. The first type is gonna be a simple tube that goes from your motor all the way up to your gauge. And this is probably what most people are used to, especially in lower horsepower or older applications. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that system. It's worked flawlessly and great for many, many years. However, on higher horsepower and newer engines, they use an electrical signal that controls that gauge. And that's what we're gonna take a look at next. First thing we'll do is get this cowling off. This is a Ranger factory rig 2013 Evinrude E-Tech 150 horsepower. Depending on your outboard's manufactured year, model number, or rigging choices, yours may be different. Be sure to reference the exact model with the manufacturer prior to purchasing any parts or completing any work, as changes or updates may have been made over the years. As always, if unsure, consult the manufacturer or an E-Tech service professional shop. Now I'm going to take you briefly through how that gauge is getting that electrical signal because it's still coming from an actual water pressure reading. Now the way this gauge works is we have our water pressure that's coming from right here. It's going through this tube all the way around here, coming to a transducer that's converting that water pressure into an electrical signal, going up a wire all the way to the console to the gauge that then gives us our actual water pressure reading. So in a nutshell, we're taking the water pressure from the engine, sending it to a sensor. That sensor is then converting that pressure into an electrical signal that's sent to the gauge. Now on an Evinrude E-Tech motor that there is no water pressure gauge install, you can always add one later if you'd like. It should be a plastic plug in place of where this line comes out. Now let's get back up front and let's install our new gauge. Installing the new gauge should be pretty straightforward. One thing we do want to do is take the new gauge and the old gauge. And we want to verify and look to make sure everything's the same before installing. Now let's take our new gauge and slide it into the hole. Make sure everything's lined up and straight and press it on in. Now we get back to the fun part for a bigger fellow like me. Getting back up under this dash rehooking the electrical connector and the mounting brackets. I do want to add one thing here and that's when you're putting these nuts back on. You know, some people have a tendency to over tighten them. Really for me, it's just hand tight plus a little bit. That seems to do fine. Once the brackets are tightened up on the gauge, we're going to take our connector and we're going to install it back on the back of the gauge. Now you probably didn't hear it, but you wanna make sure that connector clicks back in. Simple as that, that's how you replace a water pressure gauge on an Evan Rudy Tech. I hope this video has better helped you understand the water pressure gauge on your Evan Rudy Tech. As always, if you have any questions, be sure to ask down in the comment section below, and we'll see you next time on the water.